Hello guys, let's continue with our part two of our examination system. Therefore, uh, we first of all launch our Microsoft Access. Therefore, we go to Access, we type Access. Then we launch our Microsoft Access. Then this time round, I want us to go to Blank Database. Then we create this one and type it as examination system. Then we go to this folder and redirect to where we want it to be. I want it to be in desktop. And then in desktop, I go to exam system. Then uh, here, this is where I type, uh, I want it to be exam system pro. Then I click on OK. Then create. Therefore, this is our blank database. You right, uh, you right click this one and cross this one. Then, guys, I want us to uh, start by creating a student's capture table. Therefore, you go to create, then table design. At this point, we have admission number, admission number of the student. Uh, this one uh, can be uh, text. Then we go to student name, student name. Then we proceed to uh, student form, student form. Then we have uh, student, student class, student class. Student form will be number. For this one, it will be number. Then this one will be, uh, the other will be stream or class. Then you can have the date, date of birth, date of birth of the student. This is date and time. Then you can have the photo, the photo of the student. This one, we can have attachment, attachment. Then from there, we can have the current year, current year. Then we shall have the semester or term, uh, semester. Then we shall have, um, we shall have also that is the that is the semester current year. Um, we can also have the subjects. We shall have seven subjects. If I can have su subject one, that way we can copy that one. We can have su subject two, subject three, subject four subject five, subject six, and uh, then we shall have subject seven. We shall have uh, seven subjects. And uh, this one see here, we shall have this one as yes, no, yes, no, data type. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Then we shall also have this one as yes, no. This one will be yes, no, data type. Then guys, after having that one there, um, we shall uh, then uh, save this one. Therefore, our admission number should be the primary key for that uh, juncture. Therefore, this is our first table. We save this one. We save this one as um, we save this one as students. Students. Then we proceed to the next table. Create. Then table design. This one will be our exams table. This is a table that will keep our exam. Therefore, we shall have uh, our exam admission number. That is the student's admission number. It will be duplicated there. Then you can have serial number. This one will be auto number and the primary key. Then we shall have uh, our exam form. That is form will be duplicated there. Then we shall have exam class. For this one can be F, capital F, that way. Then from there, we shall have the exam semester, exam semester, semester also, exam semester. Then we shall have now to be, to have the points where we shall key in the marks, therefore we shall have we shall have math one, 
that is math 2 math 3 this one will uh, accommodate maths max then you shall have english 1 english english 2 english 3 then you shall have kiswahiri kiswahiri kis 1 shall have kiswahiri 2 shall have kiswahiri 3 then we proceed we shall have science science 1 science 2 science 3 sorry this is this one should be 2 science 2 that way then we shall have the social studies 1 Social study one, social studies two, social study three. Then from there we shall have sign language, sign language one, sign language two, sign language three. That way. And also we can also have uh, something like uh, uh, ICT, ICT one, ICT two. I see T three. Then guys, this one are these ones are supposed to be numbers. So you shall have number, 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 number. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven subjects. Each subject will have a grade. So you can have grade one, grading one, grading two, grading three, grading four, grading five, grading six, grade seven. Those ones will be text. These ones will be the grades of the average of each subject. So guys, this is the exams table. This is the second table. Therefore, this one we can just call it exams. So after uh, having done that, so far we now have the two tables that are required. We can go ahead and create a table that uh, will be connected to Microsoft Excel for copy pasting of the students' data. Therefore, if data comes in Microsoft Excel, then it will be pasted directly into uh, that area. So what you do, we just go to create, we go to query design, then in the query design we go to students, therefore we shall have our student table, therefore just pull this up that way. But it is important these ones are all displayed. So from here uh, we shall have the students data, therefore this students data will be we shall have the admission number captured, student name, uh, form, class, then the date of birth can be captured, the current year and the semester. Those are the data that will be captured every now and then. And therefore for this one, we can just save it, control S, just save it, export, export uh, from Excel, Excel from Excel. Exam. So that is where we shall be uh, having that one. Therefore, this is the that this is where data will be pasted from Microsoft Excel, and then we will get inside our our database. So, guys, after um, uh, having done that one, we are now uh, done with the with the, the that one. But we can also add the semester table. Just just go to that one. If I shall have the semester semester ID, this one can be auto number and the primary key. Then we shall have the same the semester the semester. And for the semester here, I save this one as I can just call it this one same same. Then we shall have this one saved as semester. Then in the semester we can just open the semester. We can have uh, we can have term one, 
that is term two and term three. That way. Therefore, when we go to reading the tables, that's the point that um, we shall be in a position to uh, get that one. Then from there, we can populate a form that uh, will display the student's data. Therefore, just go to create, then just go to form wizard, uh, form wizard, then let's just go to that, create form wizard, just click on OK. Then this is our form wizard. Uh, therefore, send everything to the right. Uh, we left the semester, which was very important. Therefore, just cancel this. Go back to this, right? go to design view. We forgot to put the semester, which is very uh, crucial. So, if I shall have the semester. Good. Then I save that one. Right, cross. Let's go to create. Then we go to form wizard. Then from the form wizard here, we send everything to the right. Go to next. Then here, uh, we want to appraise so where we shall be capturing our students. Therefore, just go to Coramna. Then here, we just have the uh, capture, capture, that is capture students details, details, <clears throat> in case you want to capture one by one. So we shall have uh, this form of ours here. And for that case, we can still go back and add the photo uh, because we may need the photo here. Therefore, just go back to this one design view then we can add the photo the photo is added there then we just cross that so go back to this one right click go to design view we want to add the photo therefore just pull this and then minimize that and bring the photo there therefore our photo will be uh, displayed somewhere there so after doing that bring this here and increase the size of the photo the student that way then now just a bit of formatting this just format as you wish if I want it to be a vivid board also this ones I want them to be vivid go to format that way therefore then the only now left thing is to uh, format this one to be uh, to just to to be attractive like now you can just uh, right click here then go to fill color and then assign a color of your choice to that one also this one you can just pull it this way this is uh, students this is students just go to design take another rainbow this is our students, students capture form. Then click outside, inside, got format. Uh, then increase the size. That way, this is the students capture form. Then there, after doing that, you just save and run. Therefore, uh, this is my student capture form. Therefore, I can just double click here, add. I get a photo for my student, go to his pictures. Like for example, I want to have my student here. My student is this one, click on okay. Then I can just add admission number 739, student name, Don, Don Richai. A student form, form four, Kenya. Then date of birth, you choose from the calendar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, I change this one to 2000. Current year 2022. Semester term one. That way. So guys, uh, uh, keep on watching. That is the end of uh, part two. Uh, in my next video, I'll be taking you through how to create the master form and also the subject selection form and then from there we shall continue with the next chapter as time goes by
guys remember to subscribe remember to uh, share these videos so that other students can also be in a position to learn more thank you very much